Pick me, pick me, 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 pick me, me. I'm always the last to be picked. Cause you won't stop talking. Why don't you give it a rest? Hello and welcome to another prop dog review. Today, Alex and I are reviewing Pick Me. Pick Me. No, Pick Me. No, Pick Me. By the wonderful Michael Chatelain. Uh, Pick Me, what is it, you may ask? Pick Me is a what is trick. It? Oh, thank you, thank you for asking. It is a trick where a deck of cards is spread for your spectator to choose from. They can choose any card. They sign the card. They also sign a sticker. The signed card is then returned to the deck. The deck is returned to the box. The box is closed. The sticker that they've signed is stuck over the seal of the box to show that there's no tampering involved. The deck is then placed in your pocket and within probably two seconds you are able to remove their sign card and when you bring out the deck again, when you bring out the deck again, it is still perfectly sealed and they can examine it uh, if they want to. So uh, that is essentially what Pick Me is by Michael Chatelain, or Chatelain, it's very difficult to know how to pronounce that properly. Um, but yeah, that is Pick Me. Now, I feel Alex and I are going to disagree about this. There's a, there's a first time for everything. Let's uh, let's do it. So uh, I think it's quite good. Right, Jason, why do you like it? I like it because I think if you don't know any other version to this and you just wanted, I could I picked that up and I did it within five minutes of watching the track, watching the the instructions. I didn't need to watch all of them. By the time I worked out what was going on, I was able to perform it semi well. The first, okay. I, I think you'd agree. The first time I did it, it was okay, wasn't it? Obviously, it wasn't practice. Yeah, it's not difficult. It's not, not difficult. difficult to do. Um, it's really nice. The gimmick is really nice. It's uh, it's invisible, or as Michael says so beautifully, invisible. I just love the way he says it. It's great. He says it about thirty times on on that fifteen minute download. So you'll hear can it. Can we? Lot. Can we? Can we? Uh, how, how does he say one card? <laughs> Very much how I would call you uh, a word in English that would mean um, you one like card. anchor with you a one W. Card. You yeah. one card. Uh, right. Okay. So that's fine. That's fine. It is easy to do. It does work. You you have issue with this, don't you? Because you said, "Am I right in quoting on this that it was it was a Tamariz?" Well, it's Tamariz. It's a bit of a uh, the um, the rising card as well. It's not a new. It's not a new. The method's not really new. Um, the plot that it's used for is slightly different to normal, but it's not a plot that really requires. If it's a one phase plot. It is just, <coughs> it is just meh. It is pointless. You can get something. I tell you what. Joel Dickinson has a download called Bound, which has a three-phase plot where actually the the deck, again, you take it out, then you go. I'll tell you what. Now sign the card, and it's signed, and then you seal it, and you wrap it around, and you can wrap it around with elastic bands. You can staple gun it, and then you put it in your pocket, and you still produce their signed card from. A sealed deck and it grows and it builds and it's a well, much that better sound, that does sound good. longer routine it's only a 10 pound download and it requires no gimmicks um it's a much better routine this solves a problem that doesn't tell need. me that before i mean that is that's good if that's it's what okay. you said if it's what you case. said check is out true. bound by joel dickinson it's far better than that um it doesn't require gimmicks it doesn't cross it's just your ordinary deck of cards it doesn't but even you, require a setup but if you do want to use a gimmick deck it's not uh, obviously, gimmicks in any way, shape, or form. I think the that's, gimmicks, are, the no. gimmicks are very, very good, um, and it worked. You know, it worked. But I did it three times. It worked every time I did it. So, so I can't really fault it on on working. Um, would I do it? No, and I'll tell you for why. Because uh, I don't really do card magic, but when I do, I I've always liked the Extractor by yeah uh, Peter Nardi and Alakazam. And I think other than having an examinable box at the end, the effect is just as right. good. So Because if you can get that card, the on an extractor obviously gives you the ability to, to then palm the card and have it in your back pocket or have it even if you if you're clever, you can get the spectator to have to be sat on it. If you just get them to move up to move their chair and slip it underneath. Um so I think extractor's just as good. But if you do want it is very convincingly sealed because that sticker covering the card box, it really is on there. And I think if you showed that to any lay person, they would be impressed that you'd got their card out of their sealed box. Right. I'm gonna go back to the version that I used to do. It's a genuine, ungimmicked 
deck of cards is a plain deck card you can have been using is an ungimmick box their card goes in their card is the box is genuinely sealed all the way around and you still get their card out of it it is is there a card in the box brilliant at that point? Routine. Hmm? Is there card ever in the box? Hey, at the point the card is when it's being sealed, no. But right, so the but, card is but, in the box. They... Here's my point. Here's my point. You can only you can either fool someone or you don't fool them. There is no. <laughs> you're gonna get there it. is no. There is no. I fooled them 110. percent It doesn't matter if they're fooled. They're fooled. Yeah. Yeah. So with my routine or the Joel Dickinson routine that I used to do, they are absolutely 100 percent certain that their card is in that box. That's all that needs to be done. Fine. I do like how clean that it is, is the putting the cards in the box here. It's perfectly clean. You, you, they see the card going. It is put, Joel Dick's Bound is a, a brilliant routine for this plot and it's much better than this. And it's only 10 pounds. How much is this? I don't know. I've not checked again. Bear with me. Wax Lyrical. I shall, I shall wax lyrical about a better version and it's less gimmicked and it just works. And you can, all you've got to do is convince someone that their card is in that box. And you can do that in so many ways using attitude and a tiny bit of sleight of hand um, and you're golden. And this, this is an over-designed prop, very nicely designed and very nicely made, um, but it shortens the routine and it doesn't make it any more powerful for me. So um, I'm sorry, Michael, I'm not, I'm not a lover. I guess thirty-six ninety-nine. And the thing that thirty-six ninety-nine for a two. Well, the thing that we thought was quite funny, wasn't it? That he's he's quoted himself. On oh the yes, product. this is that yes, Alex's. Uh, yeah, he has. Thing. Uh, this is the most incredible thing I've come up with in recent times. Considering this is the same man that came up with. Um, uh, my my brain is just. That gone. is probably the what whole he thing. Did. The whole the Matrix, amazing Matrix, Matrix art. art. Matrix art. Uh, I disagree. Yeah. Because Matrix art, I'm sorry, <laughs> just amazing. I'm Matrix sorry, art. it's just. Uh... I like it. I think it's okay. I think if you want to do the if you want to do the the trick, if you want to perform what you what you see on the trailer, it's a hundred percent true. You can do everything Michael shows you. One little nitpick, you get six stickers in here. Come on, sort it out. Give people twenty stickers. It's not for the two p. It costs you additionally ridiculous to only put six stickers in there. But, Joel, um... Dick Joel Dickinson, ten pound bound. £10 download, instant download, no gimmicks required, nice longer routine. Well, I think it's good. I didn't, don't even like downloads. It's, okay, you think it's good? No, I, I agree with what you're saying. I it's agree too expensive, it's too expensive to engineered for the routine that it delivers. It's not even that powerful. As a one phase, it's not, we're going to go on about this. As a one phase routine, look, I've stood in your sealed box. Yeah, you're start taking it out is not you've got to build it up and that's you constantly come back to you can do it without a gimmick like but you there's can. no sort of hand no, no, I get that. Oh, well. no but let me speak let me speak i need a little hammer don't we like a little it's gamble just, thing it's just painful listening to you be wrong jason go, no. on. <sighs> go on it's just hard no, to but listen. I just, <sighs> you're giving people bad advice now but go on i'm not you are gone. From my perspective, someone that doesn't do card magic, this is perfectly fine. Right, okay, I'll tell you what, Watch Bound by Joel Dickinson, it's £10 download. Anyone who is new to it, it could be a beginner trick. It is, it is easy, it is really easy, and it just requires an ordinary deck of cards. Okay. I don't know what we do now. But yeah, we, we, do I go we, and watch Bound? We, yeah, everyone should just go and, go, and, go and watch Bound, but then tell me if you're willing to spend £36 on a fact that's not even as good. There you go. Anyway, come on. £36.99. That's £37. Yeah. Uh, so that is our review. I think it's good. Uh, I think certain people that shop with us, lots of people that shop with us are complete amateurs. They're hobbyists. You will love this. You'll think this is really, really good, and you won't want to go for the bother of watching a download. Uh, and there must be some form of I'll tell you, we should, we should have a performance off. You should perform that, and I should perform Bound. And then we'll see who wins. Well, no, because that's ridiculous. Why not? Because you said I you could perform this. The well, I can. I can perform it out of the box. It's so easy. I can I'm not going to go and do it, though. You well, said you're the routine so. that you've okay, done Okay, bound. I do go and do. Well, there's so different. So, must be better. No. Well, it must be better because I perform bound. You yeah, but I perform don't perform that. card magic. You do? No, I don't. Did. Oh, I don't. I'm reviewing it. Well then, well, the, okay, look, okay. I'm as, reviewing as it the from person, the standpoint of someone the person who performs is. card magic, I'm telling you, save your money. You can buy, you buy, buy a wonderful book. Um, oh, here we go. And get, go. And get a the download book. for that. Well, right. Back to the book. Come on, don't be like this. Don't 
Don't be like this. We've got a responsibility to tell them the right answer, Jason. You can't go tell them. I'm giving it's worth them, it. and I'm giving them a balanced synopsis of what they've got here. Balanced synopsis. See you guys. I'm going to show you bound. The bound's brilliant. You can do so much for that. Meh. I think it's good. Nah. Nah. Oh, Safe by the bell. Safe by the bell. I think it's good. It's not right, good. We'll be back in a minute. Cut. <laughs> Hi, Paul. How are you doing? Don't worry. We're just in the middle of doing a review. Yeah, don't worry about it though. You've ruined it. Uh, hello and welcome to... <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. So pick me by... Michael, Michael Chatelain. Michael Chatelain, he's been releasing. Michael Chatelain. Bobo. Yeah, Bobo. Bobo! So, what? Jason, you performed this. What the hell is. I don't know. Shush. So, uh, Jason, you performed this on me and Mila. Right, I can't do it. What? Bobo! Shh. Bobo! Bobs! Hey! Oh, shit. I can't talk when she's screeching. Don't nod at me. We've got, we've got, you know, yeah. we've got Tom Petty going on in the background. Tom well. Petty as well. Cause you won't stop talking. Why don't you give it a rest? Rabbit, 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 jabber, rabbit, yep, yep, rabbit, rabbit, bunny, yep, jabber, rabbit.